so let's see if we can figure out the next part of this and uh, that it's patrolling. By the way, uh, just really quickly, I went back and looked at some of the videos that I was doing, and you it, sometimes you hear that boom, boom, boom in, in the microphone. You're like, what is that? That's my kids running around in the background. So we live in Parabeam House, and so for some reason, uh, you tell them 100 times, don't run up and down the hallway. They don't care. They don't care. They're just going to keep doing it. So if you want to know what that noise is, that's what that is. That, and I'm building a rocket ship. So uh, let's set up the patrol macro um, to make sure that our enemy moves back and forth when we need them to. So we're going to open the enemy. We're going to open alive. And then we're going to open the patrol. And again, let's go back for just a second. Remember this was a super state, right? Because we have something else inside of it. Um, we need three states. We need idle. We need walk left, so let's create another flow state over here and call this one walk left, uh, left, and then we'll call another one right over here walk right, and then we're going to do an idle right here, so we'll just do the idle, and we're going to kind of make a triangle with it because there are going to be uh, transitions between each one of those. So uh, we know that uh, for something to stay idle, it needs to stay on the zero axis as far as input. And so uh, this is essentially how we are going to handle that. Now, if you remember, we had a, um, we can delete those three. When you go into the um, idle uh, macro, remember we had enemy walk, well, we're going to put enemy walk in that big, complicated super unit. It is going to be really simple. All we have to do is we have to just put the direction in there. Um, so now we can go back to um, the patrol and we can go walk left. Delete all this stuff. Put in the uh, enemy walk. And to walk left, we need it to go negative one. Um, to walk right, so let's go back to that other one. So we're going to patrol and walking right. We need it to be, you guessed it, plus one. So get the enemy walk, and this is going to be one. So uh, it's going to be able to transition to states, and it's all this, all, like, like I said, the super unit. He's got all this stuff that we put together, and hopefully you understand, and maybe I didn't explain it very well, I don't know. Hopefully I explained it well enough. To where you understand what's going on, you understand the logic in each of these things. Um, and so when we get to our patrol, we're gonna have to, we're gonna be able to do each one of those. Now, we want the enemy to be able to uh, have a mind of its own. And we want it to be able to change its mind, to go from idle state, to walking left, to walking right. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to set up a new flow macro. And this is what it's going to be. Uh, so let's go to bolt, set up a flow macro, and call it enemy uh, change mind. Because it's going to seem like that for us. It's really um, a, a series of things that it's going to be doing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on on enter state. So uh, whenever we enter this transition state, what we want you to do... So we want you to wait for seconds. Wait. And the delay needs to be a random range, min and max. So, um, man, what is the difference between those two things? I have no idea. They look the same to me. All right, so uh, we want the minimum to be one second. We want the maximum to be three seconds. In other words, at, at, at the very least, we want you to move a direction for one second. You can stop after that if you want, but then uh, we want you to go a different direction. But we don't want you to do that for longer than three seconds. You can wait if you want, but don't wait longer than three seconds. Start moving. Let us know that you're alive. So that's essentially what that's telling it to do. Go for a random range between one and three, and then we're going to uh, trigger uh, transition. Transition. Trigger transition. I think I actually deleted that. There it is, right there. So this is your enemy change mind macro. And uh, basically what we're going to do here, and when you get off of this, it's saying, hey, change mind, 
And this is just good practice from what I understand that whenever you start looking at the names of things later, you'll go in and look at it. You need to know what is this macro for? Oh, it's it's the change mind macro. Yes, it is named here, but I'm thinking there's going to be some kind of internal uh, search that's going to be that's going to be important information. And again, maybe not. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far. I'm not much further than you. Um, so uh, let's go back to the um, enemy alive patrol. And we need transitions between each of these. So um, let's, oops, I think I opened a new window by accident. I sure did. Okay, let me, let me fix that. Sorry, it's on a different screen. You didn't see that. So make a transition from idle to walk. Make a transition from walk back to idle. Make a transition from walk to right. Transition from right uh, back to left, and then uh, right up here from idle back to walk. So make sure you got an in and an out, an in and an out, an in and an out. You know which way the arrow is going. If you look right there, there's a little arrow marker right there. And it might be flipped on yours depending on what, what order you did it in. That doesn't really matter. All that matters is that you have to have those um, going in and out. Now what we're going to do on each one of these is we're going to change it. If you come over here to the graph inspector, you're going to change it to macro. Go ahead and switch it. And then for the macro, we need enemy change mind. So that is going to tell it to change its mind, go from idle back to right, uh, to walk right, um, from a random range. Because remember how we, how we had that set up. So enemy walk, uh, or excuse me, enemy change mind. Uh, let's do macro. So we have to do this uh, for each one. Man, you're probably faster than me on this. Enemy change mind. Try to give you enough time to do it too. So there you go. Embedded, go to macro. It's just a simple way to, to set up the same function. That's why you made a macro. Don't repeat yourself, right? Dry. Enemy change mind. And doing this while I'm talking is not easy. So maybe you should try that sometime. Enemy change mind. And last one, macro switch enemy change mind. Now what that's going to do is it's going to set up a transition back and forth from right to left uh, to idle and, and all, all that involved. So it can go this way, go that way, go right here, whatever. Um, it will set it up to do it at a random, um, a random direction. So when you start your game, it's going to seem like your enemy is going to kind of have a mind of its own. Should move. Let's see. Oh, I didn't do something right. Okay, so something's not right. What does it say? It says, wait for seconds until it can only be triggered as a coroutine. John, you forgot it. Goodness. All right, so let's go back into our enemy. Oh, you know what? It's not in there. This is why it's important to pay attention to those little check boxes. So under each one of these, is it here? Where is it at? Ooh, oh, it's right here. Enemy change mind, right here. If you don't click this as a coroutine, it won't let the wait work. So now that should be fixed on everything. Let's see if that works. Okay. Come on, dude, move. All right. So he's moving. He went back the other direction. Okay, come here, stupid. Over here. He's going to do something like he should. Ah, uh, oh, he didn't do it. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah. No, that way. Go. <laughs> Stop following me. If he will do it, what he's supposed to do is supposed to fall off the side. All right, right there. So he'll just keep walking around, and he'll fall off the side. We don't want our enemies to do that, so we're going to fix that. Um, in the next uh, tutorial. So come back next video. We'll fix that.